Hi, Mike here with another pivot table related tip. I've been asked this question two or three times, most recently by Bob who attended one of my training sessions. Bob wanted to use a pivot table to display a summary of a set of data. So far so good. But instead of displaying a sum or a count, Bob wanted to display the actual data from a column in the data source. Let me show you. I've made the data up, but I'm basing it on the data that Bob sent to me. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. My scenario is employees and courses, but I'm sure the same principle could be used in other situations. We have seven people on the team who need to attend four courses and we can see that one person, Leo, hasn't attended course two. Now Bob wanted to present the data like this because it's easier to analyse. He'd built a pivot table but was stuck because the pivot table wasn't displaying what he needed. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to start by creating a pivot table from the data. I'm using a Mac but it works exactly the same on Windows. So I'll click on insert pivot table I'll choose where I want to put the pivot table and then I'm going to drag name into the rows section and that gives me a list of names. I'll drag the training course ID into columns and I'll add date taken to values. Because the date column contains non-numeric data, adding it to the values section results in a count. To get what Bob wanted, I simply change count to either max or min. And I can do that by right clicking on any of the numbers in the pivot table, selecting summarize values by and changing it from count to max. Now it displays the dates as serial numbers. So to display those as proper dates, just right click on any of those numbers and select number format, go to the dates category, and choose the date format that I want to use. I'll then widen the columns and I want to hide the totals, which I can do by clicking on design and then grand totals and setting those to off, aligning the headings to the right just via the align right button and changing the main headings. So I could put that as name and G1 I could put as course ID and I can't make F1 blank but I could just press the space bar and that gets rid of the text that was in there and there is my pivot table which is exactly what Bob wanted. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did please give it a like and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel. Did you know that I have a free newsletter and you can have that delivered straight to your inbox by signing up at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.